controlled by someone. He's right. He took no courage. It's weak. That's what it is. But it's anger. And uncontrolled anger is weakness. We should have been there. We're here now. So they then they spat on him. They took the reed and they struck him on the head. So this reed was a nine foot stick, and they hit him in the head, boom, right on that crown, and pushed those thorns into his head with the weight of a nine foot stick. Smash! When they had mocked him, they took the robe off of him, put his own clothes on him, and led him away to be crucified. Now, he's bleeding from head to toe, correct? Amen. Then they put his robe on him, which was a robe that was had no seams in it, so now his robe is soaked in blood. Get the vision? Yeah, oh yeah. It's sticking to him. It's sticking, his flesh is sticking to the road. Ah, shit. That his mama probably made. Or his grandmother. I saw. Then they led him away to be crucified. And they came and they found a man, a Cyrene. Simon by name. Yeah. Him they compelled to bear his cross. Simon? Simon, yeah, from Simon. Uh -huh. This tells me that Jesus was so weak he couldn't carry that 50 to 100 pound plate anymore. I'll hold Chuck so you can. That's how bad he was flawed. This man, Simon, became an evangelist. When they had come to a place called Golgotha, that is to say, the place of the skull, they gave him sour wine mixed with gall to drink. But when he had tasted it, he would not drink the sour wine mixed with gall was pain medicine. And it numbed the body because you're in all this pain. And it numbed the body, but Jesus to took the pain. To turn it? He said no to the numbing of the pain. And a lot of us in this day and time, we take drugs to numb the pain. We drink to numb the pain. But I want to tell you, Jesus took that for us to deliver us from numbing the pain. Verse 35, then they crucified him. They divided his garments, casting lots, which proves they crucified him butt naked. He didn't have a little cloth on. We just do that because we do that out of respect. Now you get they divided his garments gambling, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled what was spoken by the prophet. They divided my garments among them, and for my clothing they cast lots. They gambled. They stripped him. When they pulled this robe off of him, it pulled his flesh. Of course, it was stuffed with blood, man. It was soaked with blood, flesh, hair, bone fragments, and they gambled for this. Hi. <coughs> okay. Okay. Also, thank you. They, Lord. they, oh, thank you. Sorry. I am so sorry. Would sell oh, the nails. Thank you, Lord. I am so I feel the presence sorry. of God. Jesus went broke, man. Has anybody here ever had anyone gamble for your clothes? 
Jesus was forsaken by God. Darkness covered the whole land, so we would never be forsaken. And His presence Love is you, here now to show us that we'll never be forsaken. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come stay together as a flock. He's got it all covered. He's got it all covered. You hear? Most of the birds are happy. Some of those who stood there when they heard that said, The man! Instead of anger, he speaks forgiveness. <coughs> he opened up his spirit. <laughs> Someone says, he says, into your hands I commit my spirit. Amen. Then behold, Verse 51, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. I could just see the fist of God going, yep. boom! And the earth quaked. That's like just a karate chop from heaven. Ah, karate chop. The rocks were split. And the graves opened. crucified at that spot and they were buried all around and when the hand of God came 